<clears throat> Hello Pisces, how's it going you guys? As you can see, I have already pulled out these runes. Um, and the reason I did that was because I wanted to pull some cards out too. I'm using uh, the tarot, uh, the runic tarot deck. Anyhow, I'm not a super good rune, uh, tarot reader, so uh, I wanted to study the tarot cards, uh, honestly. So, but I pulled the runes out first, and then I pulled the runes out. I pulled the tarot cards out concerning this particular rune because you know when I'm reading runes, sometimes I pick up other people's energies uh, around you, and so I try to just keep the reading to Pisces, but you know, sometimes other people kind of step in, you know, I, I get their energies too. So anyhow, that's why I thought I'd bring out the little tarot. So the, but the first rune that I pulled was Lagoose. And uh, now Lagoose is uh, the backward one. <laughs> no, Lagoose is a water rune. And, you know, water goes with the flow. Um, and, and it's very, very, it's, it's one of those runes that tells you to just use your intuition. So use your intuition, Pisces, because you've got some sort of a tricky situation up here. This is thoracic us and it's not in reverse. And so there is some sort of a tricky, uh, it's, it's tricky situation. So, you know, it, it doesn't. It doesn't matter with Lagoose though, because you know Lagoose is a water is a water rune, and water flows around around you know objects. Like if there's a boulder in a stream and it's sticking out of the stream, but the water's still gonna go around it because it's just flowing around it. So this is good. <laughs> So just go with the flow, Pisces, and by all means, use your intuition. Don't, don't listen to uh, you, what, your, what your brain, listen to what your gut says, okay? And then we have uh, Menez. And Menez is like one of those runes. It's, it's talking about, um, you know, kind of being by yourself uh, and going within, Pisces. Um, it's, it's kind of like the hermit card in tarot, it, you know, it's like just, you know, s seeking yourself within, you know, just kind of being somewhere quiet, maybe, um, which sounds good to me. I like to do that a lot. <laughs> and then, then we have, uh, we have Iwas. Now, Iwas is one of those runes that talks about companionship and loyalty. It can also talk about travel. You see, it's shaped like a horse's saddle. And so some of you may be traveling. Um, it, but also, it's saying to uh, you need to stay emotionally balanced, okay? So, Pisces, stay emotionally balanced. Don't don't let some upset try to get in your way um, of any, you know, emotional. Just stay, just stay calm. Stay calm and cool. Go with the flow. All right. And then, then we have Kainaz. Now Kainaz is in reverse, and this is talking about feeling left in the cold and and uh, uh, you know. Uh, left in the dark or something and I was really kind of curious about that because uh, this could be very well be someone else's energy Pisces so what I did was I pulled a couple of a couple of these tarot cards out here now the first card I pulled out was the lovers and um, the lovers is is Gemini energy um, and also uh, the lovers is is some sort of a choice you can see the uh, uh, you can see uh, Gabo in right on his chest so he has a gift <laughs> a gift so you know this this also could be an X 
I see an X there too. This could be somebody trying to come back into your life, Pisces. Somebody or wanting to come into your life, Pisces. And then we pulled out strength. Now strength is uh, strength is strength, but it could be Leo energy as well. Yeah. And then I was confused with just strength, so I pulled out one more tarot card and I got the Seven of Wands. Look at the Seven of Wands. Now this is you, Pisces. You see up there? You are above. <laughs> you are above. I mean, honestly, if somebody's trying to come back to you, Pisces, you are so you have grown so much, Pisces. Look at you now. Look at you. You are above. Um, I'm just saying, uh, you know, do you really want do you really want to go back to that? I mean, I don't think so, Pisces. You need to you need to uh, keep your emotional balance where it is, just calm and cool, and just go with the flow. Use your intuition. Um, yeah, and that's kind of like what I'm thinking. <laughs> so anyhow, that's why I pulled the runes out first because I wanted to study these tarot cards. I'm not a, I'm not a super good tarot reader, but I'm still, I'm still learning. <laughs> And it also makes it very interesting, too, uh, you know, alongside with the runes, I think. So, let's get you, let's get you some of these cards here, Pisces. Whale song resonating. Let's see what that talks about. <clears throat> I always, uh, I always feel that that has something to do with music. So let's see what that says. Jump in the water and play. And be reminded of your creative self. Use this opportunity to explore. So this is launching into your creative self. Um, you know. <clears throat> this is like kind of like going within. And, uh, and this is like a transformation as well, Pisces. So this is going within, and this is uh, this is uh, some sort of a transformation that you're undergoing as well. So yeah, going within, kind of like hermit mode, sorta. <laughs> and the hollow bone teachabil teachability. So this is. Uh, to be teachable, Pisces, and this is also uh, to be like the hollow bone. It's to be teachable, and it's um, it's to be flexible. Yeah, I'm gonna triple check on that, but I pulled that I pulled that card out a few times, so. <clears throat> It says there is an important communication waiting for you. Humanity is the swiftest path for you to become like hollow bone. Drop all notions and titles that bolster your ego 
eliminate the doer, and allow things to happen of their own accord. Remember that you can accomplish most anything if you are willing to let someone else take credit for it. Hollowbone has come to caution you <clears throat> to believe only 50% of what others think and only 10% of what you think. Trust your experience, not what you have read in sacred books or holy texts. So this is kind of like saying to, you know, to trust what you know. It's like somebody had asked me uh, yesterday about, um, you know, what order these go in. And, you know, I kind of learned from a book, but after doing it, you know, hundreds of times, hundreds and hundreds of times, I, I mean, <laughs> the book, you, you learn from experience, you, you know, the book is there, but you know, it's not really, it's not really the way. <laughs> and I think that that's what the hollow bone is saying. All right. And then, uh, the heart home compassion is the, the, the deck, the, the card at the bottom of the deck. And so let's see what that says. Heart home. It, I think it's like saying to come home to the heart. You know? Um, and that, that kind of lies here with Menez in reverse. So, uh, when you begin to feel like you do not belong anywhere, it's time to make your way back to your heart home. Putting, put, anything, put everything on hold for a while while you're being offered the experience of love in its pursuit from unconditional and unbounded. Drop your heart space and rest there for a breath or two. Huh. So that's a pretty that's a pretty good card. That's a pretty good card. Yes it is. Let's get you one of these. <laughs> Did you guys see the, the reading yesterday? When I pulled out those these Halloween cards, I got some Halloween cards. They're pretty cool. Pisces. White Buffalo. That's a good one. <laughs> I think we've got this before Pisces. Let me see here. I'm passing it. It's like one of the very last cards. I think it is the very last card. It is. <laughs> Abundancy and security are flowing into your life. All things are possible. Balance and harmony prevail. So this is awesome, Pisces. <laughs> that's good. That's, a, that's an awesome. Just go with the flow, Pisces. Maintain a... You know, just maintain a, an emotional balance and keep going. Okay. Uh, that's kind of awesome. <laughs> now, this is the one that I wanted to show you. I've got all these doggone. I've got to put. I've got to put some of these over here. I'm gonna get a little rack or something to put these on. These are the Halloween, the Halloween ones. So let's pull one or two out and see. 
These are pretty cool. Pisces. Yeah, there's not much energy in these. These are so brand new. I only used them once. Well, I have used them I have like one or two. <laughs> but what's going on with Pisces? I think we got the vampire last yesterday. What are we gonna get today? Ooh, the owl. This is a good one. It's gotta be. Look at the owl can't you can't go wrong with the owl. And it says here, wise seeing, wise action. Wow. So let's let's see what that's talking about. Let me see here. Well, it's saying here that they're they're very uh, supernatural creatures and uh, they're sacred animals it's saying to think before you act and th think uh, strategically and not impulsively so think yeah just don't be impulsive go with the flow Pisces just just go with the flow just go with the flow <laughs> I know you will I know you will but this is telling you you know and then uh, at the bottom of the deck it says invisibility and I'll show you what that card looks like. That's a pretty cool looking card. Invisibility. And let's see what that means. see here it says uh, it's saying to shine your light of, of anything right here yeah that's saying to shine your light see the light coming from you I mean I didn't want to read the all you know 12 paragraphs or whatever it is in here so but <laughs> it's just, it's basically saying to shine your light. Shine your light, Pisces. All right. All right, let's get you a moonology card. I usually get one of those cards, but I, I don't know. It's Halloween. I don't want to. I want to just pull one of the, pull a couple of these. <laughs> I've got another deck that I'd like to use after that one. And then I'd have a new deck coming tomorrow. So I think I'll use the new deck tomorrow. Yeah. What's going on with Pisces? Pisces. All right. One more shuffle, Pisces.
nothing will come of the situation. So whatever this, what, what this is talking about here, Pisces, is whatever this situation here is, nothing will come of it. Let's get you one more. That's good. <laughs> I hate to say that. That's good. Uh, what else? Balance spirituality and practicality, Pisces. All right. And at the bottom of the deck, it says, bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Okay, Pisces. All right. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. All right. Bye for now, Pisces.